Hello, welcome back. We are at the uh, O'Reilly Fluent Conference in San Francisco at the Hilton Hotel. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, we'll be here for wall-to-wall -wall coverage today and tomorrow, covering everything that's going on here at Fluent. It's a hardcore developer conference. Uh, we're excited to be here, and, and as we always do, we go out, we get the smartest people we can find in the room, bring them on the cube, and ask them all the questions that you wish you could ask them. We invite you to join the conversation. Again, the hashtag for the show is FluentConf. Fluent Conf. Send us your tweets and we will uh, we'll work it in the conversation. So we're joined now with Jared Overson. Welcome, Jared, to theCUBE. Thank you. So last night, um, this is my first uh, Fluent Conference, and they had this session, and it was called the Ignite Session. And I don't know, maybe you can tell us kind of what the, what the ground rules were of the Ignite Sessions. Uh, the Ignite Talks, which I just learned about for the first time a couple weeks ago, uh, are a series of talks that last five minutes long, and the you have to provide 20 slides and they auto rotate every 15 <laughs> seconds. So it's a, it's a very confined format, uh, very rushed. It requires a lot of preparation and uh, was the hardest presentation I've ever had to give. <laughs> we, well, you would never have known that by watching it. So I'm sitting in these presentations and, and, and the variety of topics were spectacular. We had uh, this guy Yeoman talking about tools and then we had uh, Carlos talking about um, the Ten Commandments of Startups, which I thought was pretty good. We, there was conversations about uh, imperfection and embracing imperfection, which is funny. My wife always talks about patina and how patina is a wonderful thing. And I was like, I used to think it was dense. I didn't know it was a wonderful thing. So that was good by Rachel. But, but Jared, yours really struck me. Um, you were really talking about change and, and change in the world, change in, in the way we do things, and, and specifically applicable to what's happening in the developer world. So I wonder if you could, you know, share some of your uh, some of your observations and some of the, your insights from that. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, as a developer, I'm heavily reliant on tool, tools that uh, that judge me without needing to be yelled at by other people. Um, I, I like creating tools that automate uh, small amounts of frustration so that people have to abide by certain rules in order to, to gain further progress. And the talk I put together was trying to get, trying to inspire people to bring those tools into the real world. With all the devices we have nowadays, uh, cell phones, uh, laptops, game consoles, uh, all these things that have a, an amazing number of sensors for relatively cheap and bringing those into the real world and affecting behavior change uh, more directly. Yeah, there, there was a funny line you used about not trusting yourself to, uh, to choose the, the best behavior. Was uh, that, what was that line? Yeah, it was a... Uh, um, Basically, don't, don't trust yourself. You're going to eat the cake when you come down at, at 11 yeah. o'clock at night, right? Yeah, don't let your egos <laughs> convince you that you have your, your best intentions in mind. Yeah, and just a lot of kind of creative ways to think about the world and, and, and the business processes potentially to put in place because of all these enabling technologies to uh, to not allow me to eat the cake unless I weigh in on the scale first yeah. and uh, yeah. and make sure I, I pass muster. Yeah. Uh, there is there's a lot of opportunity nowadays, and for the, the last uh, 20, 30 years, the thought of regulating the physical world with technology was, was somewhat out of reach because of how expensive all these things are right. and how inaccessible the technologies are. But uh, like I said in the talk, you have, you have almost everyone in this entire conference right now has devices on them with upwards of... Well, go through that list. I mean, it was it was, a, it was an interesting slide that you went through when you when you really, you know, kind of broke it down. We think of these things as our little, as our phones and they're, they're cool, but you went through like all the parts and, and the phenomenal technologies that are contained yeah, in I these mean, little things. Just even like a simple things like proximity sensors, uh, light sensors, gyroscopes, accelerometers. We use them right now so that it doesn't turn on when we put it close to our face or, or it rotates the screen when we change it. But those sensors uh, provide a tremendous amount of information that we can use in creative ways that, that we're only starting to now touch the surface on. Yeah, so you're a passionate guy, obviously, from the talk. You're a passionate developer. So talk a little bit about just the open source movement and how you know, the open source movement has really uh, changed and, and democratized developing and, and really, I think, you can validate or verify, you know, moved you out of just who you are in your day job you know, kind of who you are and what you do day to day, but really participating in a much bigger thing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I advocate for open source in, in San Diego. Um, I, I speak at companies trying to promote open source because it's something that it, it can almost be seen as a benefit uh, they can provide to developers uh, where you work at a company, but you're also building up the ecosystem around yourself so that you can you can use these skills directly at other companies and you build up names for yourselves. Uh, I think that it's indicative of 
uh, the, the, or the web platform is indicative of how successful open source is because it by no means is the best technology that exists out there, but it is everywhere, it's completely open, and it's extremely accessible, and it has succeeded time and time again when there have been massive uh, forces trying to, to change it or move it, um, but it's, it's an amazing, it's been an amazing 20 years, and it, the next 10 years are almost scary to look at. Yeah, yeah, we just had our, our I think, as I said, we've done uh, over 2,000 interviews on the Cube, and we just had our first guest with Google Glass on a couple segments ago, and and then uh, we we had some guys at Google I/O, and, and now there's even iterations of Google Glass where you don't have everything in the in the unit. That's just a display device for for your big fat phone that's sitting in your yeah. pocket with the quad core microprocessor. It's it's really amazing. Talk a little bit about you know kind of what this conference is all about and you know obviously we've all got lots of connectivity and we can Skype chat and talk but you know what it means to come to to fluent and what do you get out of it um, that you couldn't get without coming here uh, I I personally like to support O'Reilly as much as I can uh, throughout the course of my my development development career their books uh, have been instrumental in teaching me what I've needed to know I'm a big Perl guy, um, so their books were, were some of the best resources for Perl uh, as it was developing. And uh, they've, they've shown progressive movement at every step of the way, like even their, their keynote this morning about the changing the way that, that publishing happens. Um, and this conference specifically, I'm 100% JavaScript at this point. I, I've dabbled in a, a lot of different technologies, but now you can do everything in JavaScript from 3D games to to system administration. Um, so this this is a very important conference for me because it supports O'Reilly, uh, gets me in touch with a lot of amazing developers, and is focusing specifically on the technologies that I see being uh, incredibly important over the course of the next decade. Yeah. Well, Jared, thanks for coming on on the cube. I appreciate it. Thank I mean, uh, hopefully we've got those ignite talks somewhere um, on demand because it was really it was really a. a a, a touching talk to show how things are changing and how you have to adopt change and how the technology is now getting involved in in personal decisions and how we can use it through things like you know how many steps did you take today before you get that uh, strawberry cheesecake that that's waiting for you at home so uh, again thanks for coming on really appreciate it so we uh, again we're at the o'reilly fluent conference in san francisco we'll be back with our next guest in just a minute you're watching the cube